Well, the math is actually pretty simple. A win tonight by Harding and the Hawks would win the conference title. A loss by Harding and Elmhurst would win the first SAC Boys Basketball Championship in school history. The hardware on the line tonight out at Harding. Hawks hosting Southside. Second quarter, Roderick Smith can do more than just play football. Nice little lay in there. Hawks by eight. Freshman VJ Beecham knocking down the three. Then how about Lamondre Warren? Watch the contact he draws right here. Gets the and one. Ouch. Warren led Harding with 25 points in the Hawks. They felt like dancing up 19 at the half. You can't get cuter than that. Third quarter, Archers chip away. Rayfield Davis, the Purdue bound sophomore, had 27. Then Stephen Jackson knows how to shoot, but Al Gooden's team would not let this one go. Warren with the lay in, and Harding holds off hard charging Southside 70 62. The Hawks are your SAC champs. More hoops. Homestead playing its ninth game versus an SAC team. Spartans at Northside early on. The Bruins go to the big guy, Jamie Burkhart. He does not disappoint with the bucket down low. Then Paris Lipsy would drill the pull up in them Bruin boys up by eight. Homestead would respond. Tim Dunn, a former, former Northrop star. He gets the bucket right there. He had 13. Then Desmond Powers, two of his team high 20. But Lipsy would actually score 21 as Northrop tops Homestead. 81 to 68. Well, the girls state finals will be held a week from Saturday right here in Fort Wayne. And for Snyder, they're just a win away from playing for a title in their own backyard. The Panthers, one of four local teams still alive in the playoffs. Snyder placed 24-1 Merrillville in semi-state action this weekend. That game will be played at Elkhart Central. The Panthers are coming off their first sectional and regional titles in nine years. We've just been able to work as a team, um, and nobody thinks that we would ever get here, but we've been doing really good, and our chemistry is great. We've been doing good together and just been pressing everyone and made it here so far. We just have to work hard and practice this week, keep our heads up and know that we have confidence in each other because if we have confidence in each other, we know we can do what we need to do to make it to state, and hopefully it's, it's not about them, it's really about us. And tip for Saturday's snyder Maryville game will be at roughly 3 o'clock. That's following the Concordia game at 1. Okay, thank you, Glenn. A last word from Sandy next.